It's the day before the big cook, and I've got one last very important stop on the border of the Great Smoky Mountains is the national park that is inhabited by the Cherokee Indians. I've heard that there is a Cherokee dish that I need to taste to believe. We are right in the thick of the woods. Malia, there you are. Chio Godani. Chio Godani. <laughs> Chio Godani, what does that mean? It means hello, Gordon, and how are you? Oh, my, I'm so happy to be here. Now, homily? Hominy. Hominy, Hominy. Hominy. Hominy is a very unique, traditional Native American food. It's basically corn on steroids, and I'm finally about to see how it's made. The process of turning the corn to hominy just relies on this ash, this hickory ash, oh, wow. and the corn and water and heat. Oh, really? Yeah. First off, mm -hmm. if you can finish getting the rest of these kernels gotcha. off, and once you get a few of them, see, gotcha. you're looking like a pro. Gotcha. And then we're going to come over with our ash and go over to the fire. Is that ash will turn it black, won't it? It's the lye that's mm -hmm. in the ash that we need to remove the coat off of the kernels. It makes it easier to digest. Now I know why there's such a buzz around this dish. There is lye in hickory ash which is extremely corrosive. I'm excited to be showing what this unique ingredient will do to humble corn kernels. And it also makes some more amino acids available okay. to you, and you have less vitamin deficiencies. It makes sense that the Cherokee developed a recipe that would maximize nutrients, but I'm not sold on this dish just yet. So does the ash turn it bitter? It doesn't turn it bitter, but it does give it a different taste. Yeah, so it doesn't look appetizing. Well, I'm sure sometimes when you make a dish, it doesn't look that appetizing until you're all the way done, right? Malia has obviously never seen me cook. While we wait for this caustic mixture to work its magic, I learn about the traditional way of grinding corn. Straight in? Yes, yes. All right. Does that go in there? You just... Which? Is that right? Round? Pound? What do you think? Well, it looks like the, the sort of... That end's too big for the hole, but then that doesn't... No, let's try this so one. How many kids do you have? What? No. <laughs> Malia, please. <laughs> girl. All right. Honestly. So, all right, I'll, I'll give you a little help. I'll give you a little help. It won't go down the hole. Turn it around. Oh, you do turn it you around. You do turn it around. <laughs> so, the secret is not to go too hard, right? Right. Man. I'll have to teach her how to say help me in Cherokee. That's yes, please. She stay la. She stay la. Ski. Oh, ski. Ski stay la. Ski stay la. It means help. And right now, I need a ton of it. So you Sorry. are using a lot. Am I? Look how slow you're going. Work smarter, not harder. Yes. Right? Yes, ma'am. Indigenous yeah. science. Gotcha. Slow right? and steady. Here we go. Doesn't feel right. <laughs> I'm sure you'd like to keep watching me awkwardly poke around, but thankfully, it's time to try our hominy, which has been thoroughly rinsed and mixed with beans. That looks, I mean, it's, it's almost like a sort of French cassoulet, you know, like a bean stew. Yeah. Mmm. See, that's lovely. Mmm. Been waiting for that all day. That is delicious. Oh, my God. The corn and the beans on a different level. She elevated that dish into something quite luxurious. That Cherokee history is so prevalent today, and I need to tap into that. If I don't tap into that, I'm, I'm dead meat. See Good ya. To go. Thank you. Want to see more from my Uncharted adventures? Please click here to watch more clips.